Good morning, guys. Welcome to TMXC Adventures. Lisa here. Hey, uh, today I'm going to make waffle cones. Yesterday I shared a picture of uh, the kids. They had made these amazing Fruity Dream ice cream and waffle cones. And somebody said, how do you make them? So today I thought I'd jump on and show you how incredibly easy it is to make waffle cones uh, in your Thermomix. Now you do need something to make them with. You need something to press them with uh, and roll them around, okay? So there is something you need beyond the Thermomix. But come with me today, I'll show you, maybe we can do some troubleshooting around what you could use instead, because I think there's some alternatives if you need to. So let's get cooking. This is on Cookie Do. We're gonna hopefully have time to look at Cookie Do later for some hints and tips. Um, and what I did notice when I was finding this recipe today is there is now a gluten-free recipe as well available. I didn't know that and I haven't tried it. So I'm gonna stick with what I know today, which is gluten, but it's only got not much flour, like really this recipe, because you're making it so thin, it's not a huge volume of food. Hello, Linda, lovely to see you on. First things first is butter, 30 grams. Okay, so it's not much butter at all, and it does say cut into pieces, so I have diced them into pieces. I don't wanna be too uh, loose with my ingredient volumes today, because as I said, it actually doesn't make much batter because you make you know you put a little bit on the pan and it makes this big flat thing that then you roll up so the volume of it like we still get a dozen cones eight to twelve cones out of this um but the volume per person of flour like because we are not celiac we just um don't do well with gluten so if this amount of gluten is okay okay it's not like eating a big bread roll or something like that so this has a three minute melt 50 degree melt 50 degrees is if you want to kind of lock something in your head it's that perfect temperature for melting chocolate melting butter okay so things that are room temperature and getting them to liquid if you had to turn and i've not tried it but if you can't do dairy i reckon you might be able to do this with coconut oil okay because coconut oil will melt and become like butter. I think you'd be able to do this with Nutalex for those of you who have to do Nutalex, okay? Give it a try. I reckon you, you'd find success with it because you are melting this down. We have used sunflower oil for this when we haven't had butter and it works fine. It's flavorless, so it's not gonna dominate the flour and that sort of stuff. Now the next couple of ingredients are really simple. You've probably got them already. It is our eggs. There's an egg, an entire egg, and then there's an egg white. Then there is sugar. Now there is two types of sugar. I'm gonna just put one type in and I'm going to keep to the volume of sugar. Now, that's unusual for me, I know. But reason being is the sugar is the reason this recipe sets and the reason as it cools, it solidifies. Um, if you take that sugar out, you're not going to get that caramelization in that cook process for it to, number one, become solid and that, well, it, initially it's soft and then it's set solid, okay? So you don't play with the sugar in this recipe. Let me plead with you. This is one recipe I would say, do not change the sugar. It will not work for you. Hello, Annette. Lovely to see you on today. Um, so it does have a total of, I think, 120 grams. I think it's 60 and 60. And it almost says white sugar and then brown sugar we just use collectively white sugar or raw sugar it works fine don't go shopping for the brown sugar unless you are going to use it for something else okay you can just do this if you have it already uh, with that white sugar then it's got salt and then it's got I'm looking vanilla and then it's I think that's it like it's the things you've got in your home so if you feel like waffle cones like I said yesterday why not unless you don't have something to press it in <laughs> or unless you don't have something to roll it with. The rolling with is easier to work around and I'll tell you some ideas for the rolling with um, shortly. The pressing is probably a bit harder. I have seen people use the sandwich press, the flat bedded sandwich presses to do this and it works. Okay, so you don't have to have a fancy press. Now the Thermomix Mix Shop has an, a stove based one that you can put on a stove to do this. Okay, I don't have it because I went searching for this. You guys might remember me requesting it about two years ago. I put in the chat and said, hey guys, recommendations on a waffle maker. Okay, because my kids were wanting to, you know, go buy for holidays and celebrations ice creams. And I'm like, okay, we can do this. And it'll be way cheaper. Like it, there's six of us. 
and it's like six or seven dollars per cone. <laughs> like it adds up super quick. So it's like, okay, surely there's a way. So you guys gave me a whole lot of recommendations. In the end, I found one on Marketplace and I went for a drive. And it's not actually designed to be a waffle maker, but it works perfectly. It's actually designed to be, and I think it's called like an Italian biscuit press or something. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to show you this whole process through. So just hang with me for a second. Okay, 90 grams of uh, plain flour. So funny enough, I had my gluten-free out to do this and I said I wasn't going to play with that. Where is my, here we go. Now I'm using, excuse me for a second. Stay there, there we go. I'm using uh, baker's flour because that's the only other type of flour I have. And as I said, I'm not willing to lead you astray and give you a recipe ooh, that I'm not confident straight away with. I am going to pull that out a little bit. That's okay. I do love that you can do that so easily. Let me grab my little spatula now. I just need seven more grams out. Mine is an unbleached baker's flour is actually what I use. Um, it's from Honest to Goodness. We get it online. And you can see... I get it in a big bag. It takes us quite a while to go through our big bag though because we don't have, we don't use flour as a standalone often. But that's what I had out on the bench organized. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, 60 grams of white sugar. Here we go. Okay, has anyone watching on made waffle cones? Do comment if you have. Remember today to comment and engage in some way so that you get. Uh, these videos in your newsfeed. If you're watching the replays on YouTube, welcome from around the globe. Uh, remember, hit subscribe and share these with your friends and family who have a Thermomix or another version of a Thermomix uh, because then they can cook these amazing recipes. All right, 60 grams of white, 60 grams of dark brown, which, as I said, just using white. All right, and it goes, oh, doesn't matter. Nine grams, that's okay. One egg, and then it says an egg white. So I've actually, I've already pre-cracked them today. Okay, so I didn't have to do them on camera. Keeping it fast for you guys. Two teaspoons of water. It's a smidgen, okay, which is 10 grams. So I'm actually going to bring up my scales because you guys know I can be heavy handed. Okay, so one teaspoon is five grams of liquid. I'm so glad I brought up those scales. There we go. <laughs> because that would have been, I would have tripled that in my pouring. So I don't know why they don't give us that. I'm not even sure which, which country this recipe is from. It might be a UK recipe. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, my homemade, I, is just loving it. It's getting a more defined flavor over time, which I love. Okay, and then on with the lid. Oh, hang on, salt, just a pinch of salt, brings out the sweetness a bit more. Okay, lid on, and this is literally the last step. Okay, before, we're supposed to rest it. I'm not going to rest it long today because I want to show you how to do this. So 10 seconds, speed four. Up it goes. It's nearly done. I'm just clearing space on the front of the bench. Scrape down the sides of a spatula. I love those 20 seconds. They just give you that snippet of time to get yourself organized. I did a cook along on the weekend with some ladies. Um, and yes, there was only ladies. But if you're a gentleman, you're welcome to pop onto them too. Um, and we made ricotta gnocchi, which was absolutely beautiful. And that was one of the things, like one of the ladies through the recipe, through cooking, she was like, I need to go put my kitchen in order. This is it's a little out of control. It's freaking me out. And I was like, go for it. And that's the beauty of Thermomix cooking. You've got these snippets of time where you can be putting things away. Okay, on with the lid again. It's just got one more mix for one minute. Speed three. I'm going to let that whip that around. And while we're doing that, the next step says transfer to a bowl and set aside to rest. I have never moved it out of the thermo mix bowl. Okay, it's not worth making another bowl dirty. Okay, meanwhile, preheat the waffle cone maker. Let me just show you what's happening in there. If you can, oh, you can't see. It's a bit dark. I forgot to turn the other lights on. Uh, and then to use it as per manufacturing instructions, spray the bottom of and the top of the girdles of a waffle cone with oil and spray. I use coconut oil. You can use whatever you preference. You could melt butter to it, okay? I'm going to turn around and show you in a second. Place one and a half tablespoons into the center. Uh, make sure it cooks according to the manufacturing guidelines. Carefully but quickly transfer it to a tea towel and shape using your hands or the shaper. 
hold in place for approximately one minute, pinching the end to a seal. Set aside to cool completely and repeat with the batter. So let's spin around now and let's uh, do this together. Let's see if I can spin you around. Here we go. All right, up the back there, I have a said waffle maker. And I might bring it a bit closer now so that you can see. I've got this mat because I want to use this mat to actually uh, put them on as I process them, as I get them in. Now, this has been preheating, so I'm quite confident uh, that it is quite hot. Now, this, as I said, it's an Italian. It is hot. <laughs> it's an Italian one. It's got actually three circles on it. And I don't know how easily you'll see that in the camera. And I can't obviously hold it really well because it's nice and hot. But it's got these three circles to make little cookies or something, like a shortbread-style biscuit or something. Um, but it does just perfectly fine for what we need it for. This, okay, was a couple of dollars off eBay, um, but instead of this, you could actually shape yourself one out of cardboard and then just put some L foil over it. Okay, that would be my other idea. If you don't have one, they said you could shape it with your hands. This makes it so much easier. Make it with some cardboard, uh, even scrunch up L foil and make the shape and then wrap it with one piece of L foil. You don't need the handle, but you do need the cone shape. I'm not sure what else in life is cone shape. If you can think of something else you could use instead of this, let me know. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. It's like you can't just use, you know, like if you can't find your rolling pin, you use a wine bottle. <laughs> like I can't think of anything. Talking about shaping though, um, you can also make cannelloni style. What are the sweet ones called? They're not called cannelloni when they're sweet. They're called um, brandy schnapps with the same concept of today obviously you're not using a triangle cone you're using then something like a silicon um rolling pin all right let's get this happening so and i do need a knife to just ply it off with okay so this is done it does say to rest the reason we let it rest is because oh my puppy dogs want to go in when my husband's work room hey finley ben can you let the dogs in for dad please I think he's in a meeting. They're scratching on the door. On the door, let me in. <laughs> I do miss having a door sometimes when I can totally cut out the world. All right. So it's as simple now as doing this, and it doesn't take much. I got to spray it first with whatever your preference is, or rub some butter around it. Do make sure you do this, and make sure it is hot beforehand. I made the mistake once of doing this when it wasn't hot, and it gets really incredibly sticky and gross. Okay, it just everything sticks to it and then it's a pain to clean afterwards. So a, a tablespoon and a half is not much. Okay, we'll go for that. We'll see what that sits like. So you can see that's about pikelet size, but as I press down, you can hear it sizzling to the outside. Now this does not take long. I think the first time I actually did it with this press, I think I was putting like a one minute timer um, on an alarm. So that, and actually I can do that on my Thermomix, I might do that. Uh, so that I, you know, attention is not my strength. <laughs> okay, this is why I need a Thermomix in my life. Because the veggies, you know, on the stove used to boil dry. Um, come on back here, there we go. Uh, because I'd be like, I'll just go quickly put the washing on, fold some stuff. And by the time I came back, it's 15 minutes, but in my head it felt like two. So um, timers are what I need in life. So it's just giving me a countdown now. You can see potentially, you can see there's a little bit oozing out the side. That's okay. What I will need shortly is my beautiful thing from eBay and a knife to get it off with. This is so incredibly simple. However, you do need to be present. Do not try and clean up your kitchen at this point in time, okay? Uh, something you can also do is use a cupcake pen. All right, that is also a great tool as well. I've just noticed the kids cooked a lot on the weekend. Look at the mess they've left. Try not to leave that in your Thermomix, okay? It encourages bugs to come live around and in, in, in your Thermomix. Um, I'm going to clean that off as soon as I get off camera. Uh, we did have a busy weekend outside, and so the kids did a lot of cooking, which is fantastic. But uh, they're a little bit short, <laughs> and so things every, end up inevitably everywhere. Okay, the alarm's going off. So I'll just go confirm. And now let's open it up and have a little peek. Oh, perf. Oh, no, it broke. It's going to say perfect. I didn't spray it properly. All right, that's okay. One sacrificial one at the end. You know what? If there's leftovers that aren't quite perfect, my suggestion to you is to actually see how I'm running this knife under. Cr um, scrunch them up, crumple them up. You know why that's. Maybe I've made it too thin. I've never had one do quite that before. Um, scrunch them up and sprinkle them over your ice cream. 
okay so now this is where I've got to get it off the tray and it's cooked beautifully like that's that's good and now can you guys see this not quite you can see the broken bit I don't know why let's do it with a mini I'll show you with a mini okay this is how you do it so pick your way doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to make that my bottom and then we just wrap it around wrap 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 pinch the bottom together it's already setting I can feel that you can see actually it's setting can you see how it crumbled there I wasn't fast enough okay this now you know how I second ago I got it off and it was all floppy look at that I and mean, that's why that sugar is important because it is doing the caramelizing okay all right let's make another one I'm just gonna do one that doesn't crack scrape that off and I didn't spray the top did I spray the top guys sure I did okay let's do it again spray it okay mixture in it goes and as I said it's only a tablespoon and a half it's not much around the handle I wonder if it's also I didn't let it set the 10 minutes that is possible as well we usually do let it sit all right let's put that timer back on one minute start okay it is yummy though as i said if they crumble if they they're like this don't be distraught just have some crumbled on top of your cone it's beautiful but let's be real it's all that sugar all right look at that perfect barring the fact that it's missing its bottom that's okay all right i tend to get a jar ready to stand them in okay that one's a bit short in the jar that's okay We'll just wait for this one to be done. One, maybe one minute's too long. Let's have a look. So good. 20 seconds to go. You didn't actually get me to see me pull that in. Sorry. I'll try and move the camera. See if I can get both in. The hardest thing is working with this fast enough to roll it, but it's actually not that hard once you get going. I didn't push this down as far to make it as thin this time. Let's see if it makes a difference. All right. Okay, time is up, confirm. That's better. All right, that looks nice. And now I didn't shove that down as hard on my plate. You're gonna have to experiment with yours as well. Still didn't, still sticking up the back here though. Come on. But the front's looking what I would expect it to look like. You see how, how um, soft it is at this point in time. Like you wouldn't expect that's about to make you the most stunning cone okay I tend to put my if it's a triangular shape that I finish off with I tend to put the triangle point at the bottom you guys see this roll it around tuck it around I've got to do it before it gets too cool oh, my bottom's gotten cool already that's all right okay there we go let that one sit there scrape off any extra still have a stick in the same place which is really unusual all right let's go again can see that once you get going you see that time yep it's a, it's just a nice little rhythm you get into as I said though get that timer on hey you can imagine how quickly it's gonna cook and if you're distracted you're gonna miss it so like that time on one minute start so easy hey now we're gonna put this with fruity dream uh, from straight off the things you might have seen once upon a time on menu on a demo menu my kids don't mind the hole in the bottom. It says pinch them together, but I do find it tends to be the first bit that sets. Um, you could make my Macca's ice cream for this. It would be beautiful, I do suspect, uh, with that beautiful dairy, condensed milk, cream, vanilla ice cream in it. Uh, you could make that and stir through something like this time of year, it's strawberry season. Some strawberry jam uh, would be beautiful or some coolie where you've actually just cooked down fruit. For us, it's just going to literally be frozen fruit whipped up, a tiny bit of honey in it possibly because I think we've only got berries. I didn't put the timer on. No, I did. It's okay. <laughs> uh, berries. This is how I get distracted. Um, and probably I'll either, I don't think I'll do an egg white today because there's egg whites in this and then I've got a second yolk. I think I'll actually do, there's a version where you can do, um, uh, there's a yogurt version. I don't have yogurt at the moment. I need to make some. Oh no, look at it. 
I really think something's sticking at the back. That's okay. Ugh. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, there's a cream version called fruit ice cream. I think we'll probably most likely do that. This one here is, I think I need to scrub it. Something is making it stick. Anyway, you get the concept of how to make cones in your Thermomix. Now you can use a sandwich press. If you have a straight flat sandwich press, obviously you don't get pretty but like patterns with it, but you can certainly do that. Okay. So I would say, give it a go, have a go at this, see what you think. It's not as hard as it seems. Um, Especially if you think it doesn't stick, I'm sure you won't have half as much issues as I do. Uh, and usually it doesn't. I think I need to get in there with the scrubbing brush and scrub out something must be stuck back there because I'm sure I sprayed it, but I will give it one more go on camera and I'm going to give it a good spray and let's see how we go. So get rid of this. I'm just look it in there. Maybe there's stuff in the little star bits. I don't think it's the bottom that's sticking. I think it's the top. All right, let's, I'm, I'm doing a good spray where it's sticking. I'm going for the abundance of spray, which I don't normally do, but that's, we're gonna get one really, really good one. The second one's good, but we're gonna get one really, really good one. I do find as well, don't get pedantic about, oh no, that was a bit much, that's all right. Don't get too pedantic about the shape they turn out as. Uh, you can, uh, even if you've got a perfect circle, I find they tend to always finish a triangle. And then all I do with the triangle shape, and I don't know if you've noticed it, is I actually then um, match the triangle. So if my things come out, and I think it's because you're pressing from a dot, like a one center. So I think that's why you end up with a triangle. So the triangle would be like that, and I'm rolling it around this way. So I always pick the triangle base, like the longest point, to be what I roll into. Just what works for me. Ah, I've done it again. I reckon about 20 seconds in, am I? 30 seconds in? See, I need a timer in my life. Oh dear. All right, this is the last one. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Hopefully it works. It's oozing out the sides, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. These are amazing though. Once you get the swing of it and doing these, getting your kids to do them or your grandkids, like it's next level. I would make them on demand. Um, I would put the rest of this batter away. How would you do that? I'd probably freeze it in ice cubes and then put it in a glad bag and then let it defrost and re-whip it up when I want it. Um, because you can't half an egg and half an egg white. That doesn't really work. You can um, vacuum seal these to keep, I reckon that's timer, to keep them fresh. So you could actually, I'm sure it's done, but it's sticking. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's still cracked in the corner. I don't know what's going on with my mold. Um, if you make them all and then you vacuum seal it with the vacuum seal big container, so not the sucky air one, but the big containers. I've got it up here. I had bickies in it the other day. Okay. It will keep for a very, 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 very long time because the air is removed. So they're not going to go stale. Okay, really handy that big one when it comes to like Christmas time and stuff and you want to get yourself organized in advance. Still sticky. All right, come on. I need to be able to roll you. Um, this is probably not a good idea trying to do it on the hot plate. <laughs> I'm gonna make a mess. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see if we can get this one. All right. There we go, tuck the bottom in. It says pinch them, you can pinch it. This one actually is probably the most, did have a lot more batter than the others. It's still stuck on that corner though. You can see it's stuck up, I don't think you can see actually. It's stuck up there. It must be something making it stick. Anyway, that's all right. You get the idea, it's easy, give it a go. Look at that, homemade waffle cones. Okay, you know what's in it. There are no preservatives, numbers, additives. I don't know if you guys saw my recreating the other day of the creamy sauce, but it is mind boggling how many additional ingredients are put in our food to make them last. Okay, so when you've got a well stocked pantry with a Thermomix, you don't need to buy the ones at the shop that have three times the amount of ingredients to make them last on the shelf, you can just make them and you've got I reckon you've got flour, eggs, salt, sugar, um, vanilla, you can even make other flavors. <laughs> but like, how cool is that? And how satisfying to know you can do it. So yes, you will need something to press it with. 
okay this isn't a one that you can roll out by any means um, and you'll need something to shape it with which you can be a bit more creative with but I reckon you guys can do this okay if I can do this if my kids can do this you guys can do that okay and then enjoy them enjoy the fruits of your labor so to speak but anyway that's it for me today I didn't get to go through cookie do as much as I wanted to There'll be another video, I'm sure, where I will cover cookie do hints and tips. But please do share these videos. Uh, thank you to those of you who do. You send them on to your friends and family who have Thermomixers already. Or maybe they need a Thermomix in their life because they're going on the weekend and buying waffle cones. Well, actually, they're buying ice cream with the waffle cones for 6 or $7 each. Um, you know, and that all adds up super quick. You know, and we do have things like Zip Money and Hum Finance. And they break them down into these small payments. That means it's not this, you know, it literally means don't go shopping for your ice cream and instead make your ice cream and there's your repayment. You know, like that's the difference these things can make. So if anyone does need question, uh, their questions answered on that, I'm always happy to help. But otherwise, have a fantastic day, guys. Take care. I hope you're finding these videos of value. Have a try at Waffle Cones. When you do and want to see your photos, send them through to me. Go, oh my gosh, I made Waffle Cones, okay? Because it is so satisfying to make these amazing things yourself and know exactly what's in them. But otherwise, have a great rest of your week. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.